Hello everyone and welcome to a legacy video. Yes, we have Andrea Mingucci with us. Uh, for those of you uh, who are watching a video with Andrea Mingucci with us in the card market feature match where we play your decks in paper because we love paper for the first time, where can we find you, Andrea? You can find me on, uh, well, the Channel Fab YouTube channel making content for Legacy very often. Or if you like modern and some arena content, I also stream on my twitch.tv slash Andrea Mengucci or my YouTube channel, Andrea Mengucci Video. You might also know Andrea Mengucci from winning like everything. Mythic Invitational Champion, uh, winner for Italy in the Nationals. Yeah. Andrea Mengucci is one of the most beloved and appreciated and accomplished Magic players out there. And today we're playing Legacy, the old format. We're not playing decks from the comments below this week because we don't usually play Legacy, but I'm excited. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so the deck I'm playing, it's super cool. It's based around this new card, Kappa Cannoneer from the most recent Commander set. It's a mono blue artifact deck. Of course, you have Mox Opal, you have Urza's Bubbles and Urza's Saga, all the type of zero mana artifacts, but Kappa Cannoneer, what a card. It can be up to a one mana, like five, five, unblockable, ward four. It also comes back with Emery, triggers your side, it just does it all. It's really cool, I can't wait to play this deck. So Andrea Mingucci is here, and I decided I'm gonna take a great legacy deck over to Pal, but I don't own any legacy decks. No worries, customer service at Card Market, they got me covered. Someone in there is a little bit more wealthy than I, because they lent me a lands deck. The thing about the lands deck is we're playing legacy. Anyone ask, wow, you're playing Legacy. I bet you're gonna play some huge creatures, maybe some game-ending spells. No, I'm just playing a bunch of lands, but they're awesome. I've got one land, Tabernacle Pendle Veil, prevents him every time, every time. Andrea's gonna have to untap, he's gonna have to pay one mana for every single one of the creatures he has in play. Also, that land is like 4,000 euro. I've got Maze of Ith, prevents his creatures from dealing any damage. I've got a combo that lets me play a 20-20 Flying indestructible creature. I've got Punishing Fire and Grove of the Burn Wellows. It'll just let me wipe his board, whatever he's playing. If he's playing creatures, they're not staying on the board very long. I wanted to play this deck forever, but couldn't afford it. I'm really excited to bring it to the board today. Andrea Mingucci, I am so excited to have you here to play the old format. It's gonna get weird. I'm excited for a real life legacy video. <gasps> have you not played legacy in paper for a long time? Eh, no. Hi, hi Roll? Two. Okay, let's do this. Seven. You know, the, you're the first ever guest to grab your own dice. Uh, you did win though. I won, yeah, because uh, yeah, I did. chose my dice. <laughs> oh, you I gained it. You, I you know what yours. you do. You know what I'm up to. I wish you a good seven. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you, I'll try my best. I also wish you good luck, but uh, since your skill level is far above mine, uh, I wish myself good luck as well. Yeah, 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 makes sense. First stand, unfortunately not a great one. We not only don't have like Mox Opal or just some fast mana to uh, start off the races, uh, you also just really just not that many payoff either. Let's go to six. I'm gonna go for six. I'm gonna stay to seven. Okay, you might think it's insane to keep this hand. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm taking a, I'm taking a risk here, but I've got exploration and exploration is great in this deck. I've got Wasteland to get rid of Andrea's lands in the meantime and get ahead of lands and I've got Four Life of the Loam and four Gamble in my deck. That's eight draws I can get to just kind of go in and fin it with the Wastelands, using the Grove of the Burn Willows to bring back Punishing Fire. I've got half of my combo in hand. I'm confident at the top of my deck. Let's see how this works out. All right, I'm going to six All here. right, good luck. I hope your six is better than your seven. Let's have a game. No, yeah, my, my, my seven was more good. It's just, it was missing a little bit. The 6-1 is not great either. Uh, I'm gonna keep it because I can get down a turn two Emery with an Urza's Bubble. We also have Urza's Saga, which can get like some cool stuff like a Retrofit of Foundry or a Mox Opal going. So I'm gonna keep this hand. Off to the races then, are you ready? I am ready. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to start with, um, with Urza's Saga. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a new one. I'm not sure if it's, <laughs> it's good to play on turn one, but uh, I'll try that's it. That's generally not the order people play it in. All right. Oh, I see what you're up to. And I pass the turn. I decide to go turn one Saga instead of a uh, blue mana because despite I can't make Construct on turn two with my hand, I can get down a Mox Opal on turn three to start getting more mana. Plus, you can always draw Ancient Tomb in this format to just make a Construct on turn two. So there's the option of that one. I'm gonna draw for turn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 my dreams just came true, Andrea. 
We were so lucky to draw the life of the law in here. Unfortunately, I don't have any lands that come into play on top next turn, so I'm gonna have to draw an untapped land, but this is such a boon for our hand. I'm gonna play Grove of the Brobilos. Okay. Are you ready to take one life? I am. Yeah, no, gain one life. I'm gonna tap. Yeah. You gain one life. I'm gonna play an exploration. Okay, resolves. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's true. You're probably playing blue, eh? Nice. Um, Colorless. And then, I'm gonna play Wasteland. Oh uh, no. And I'm gonna knock out your Urza Saga. Yeah, that's a good start. It is, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll pass the turn to you. Draw. Let me try with another Saga here. <gasps> Not again? Um, a pass, nothing else to do. I will untap, I'll draw for turn. Oh, and then my hand just got really good. No. My hand just got really good. Um, I'm gonna play a Thespian stage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Life from the Long. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, you're gonna gain one life. Yeah. And yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna take back my life, uh, Wasteland. Yeah. I'm going to Wasteland you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. Oh, this does not feel fun for me either. And I'll pass the turn to you. All right, I draw. My Urza's Bobble. Looking pretty bad here. So I'm gonna lose another land next Isn't turn. Isn't legacy fun? <laughs> All right, I'll play an ancient tomb and pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap. I'll draw a life of the long, dredge it from yep. my graveyard. I'll discard Ooh. a 5,000 euro card. No. Um, a customer service in card market treating us well. Um, I'm also gonna dredge another beautiful mock diamond and a foil crop rotation. All right, how much does, how much was this dredge three worth? <laughs> Let's talk More about, than my salary. Let's talk about it. Not that many salary. Okay. So 5,000 <laughs> infinite value because this artist is out of commission. Fine, right now. Oh, the, by the way, put him in the graveyard for now. <laughs> okay, let's put him in the graveyard for now. I get the life of the long yeah. in exchange. Um, okay, what, what's going to happen to my ancient zoom here? I'm going to let you gain one life. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm going to... Uh, Again, yeah. it's the only spell I've cast this turn. Yeah, oh, again, yeah. no, not the exploration as well. I'm gonna get back the tabernacle and the wasteland. Yep. I'm going to play my wasteland. Yep. I'm gonna wasteland your Ascent Tomb. Yep. And then and I'm going to play a Dark Depths. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You know what's up. It comes into play with 10 ice counters on it. If I pay three, I remove an ice counter from it. If I remove all 10 ice counters uh, from this land, uh, I have to sacrifice it. And if I do, I put a 2020 black avatar creature token with flying, name my at large, into play. It's quite strong. We'll see what happens. And the turn is now yours. All right, I draw a card. It. Ooh, it a I'm about to cast a spell. Okay, go ahead. It's not gonna do much, but I'm gonna play another Urza's Bubble. Then I will play an island with a different name. Ooh. Its name is Otawara Soaring City, which actually is good to bounce your Mar uh, Darth <laughs> Maridlash if only at the mana. Had the mana. Had now I'm just uh, using it for blue okay. to play an Emery, Lurker of the Law. That is a very powerful magic card. It is. So I'm gonna mill four cards yes. here. Chalice of the Void. <gasps> I'm happy not to see that one. Make sure it's bubble. Ether Spell Bomb. Look how many oh. ways I have to bounce your Maridlash. But they're in the graveyard and the Urza's Bubble. So that's a pretty nice uh, selection if my Emery survives. And I repeat, if my Amory survives. And uh, pass the turn. Okay. Okay, I can't let Andrea keep that Emery on the board because my plan is a Merit Laga 2020. And if he bounces it, indestructible does nothing. So I'm going to have to get a little fancy with Tabernacle. Usually, if he untaps, he can pay one to keep his Emery on the board. But that's only if he has lands. I will dredge back life from the lawn. Go ahead. All right. Um, I'm going to have to mill three cards, but yeah. this in my hand. I'm going to mill. That's been stage. Punishing fire. Nice. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty nice, good. Nice. And blast zone. Okay. This changes my game plan slightly. I'm going to let you gain one life again. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. To play a life from the loam. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna bring back wasteland. That's been I'm targeting. Yeah. Wasteland. That's been stage. All right. And blast zone. All right. Results. All right. I get to play two lands this turn. You do. I'm gonna play a Wasteland for the first one. Yep. I'm gonna target your Ouroboros, is that the name? Otawara. Otawara. And then, and then I'm gonna play the 5,000 Euro card. Uh, Tabernacle of Vendel Vale, night version. Yes. Night mode. Night version. <laughs> and I will unfortunately pass the turn to you. All right. You have triggers. Okay, so. Uh, you still do have to pay one for your Tabernacle though. I know, but I can tap the Emery 
to flash back an artifact to then later play it because yeah. it says that uh, you know Ooh. choose target artifact in your graveyard you may cast the card this turn so I'm gonna choose uh, uh, which artifact to cast this there's turn. There's a very good one in your graveyard. Yeah there's a great selection plus I can also sacrifice the Urza's Bubble in your turn to draw a card in my turn but I'm now deciding whether the Urza's Bubble uh, card uh, is relevant or not. I'm gonna decide to not sacrifice these and I'm gonna tap this to flash back um, it's really not easy. I'm gonna settle on the uh, Ether Spell Bomb here. So okay. I'm gonna be flashback in the Ether Spell Bomb. The Emery dies because of the Tabernacle, and I draw a card. Yes. I play an Ancient Tomb. Okay. Tap it, go to 22. Put on the 22. And play an Ether Spell Bomb. And I'm going to sacrifice that with the Mana Floating. Okay. And draw another card. And then I pass. All right, I'll untap. Dredge. I would like to dredge life from the wall. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can't, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I will mill a Thespian stage, a crop rotation, and a beautiful girl. Oh, this whole deck is foil. This yeah. Is, this is great. I love yeah. this. Um, I'm going to put this into my hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a Bojuka Bog. No. <laughs> Goodbye. And another Thespian stage. Okay. I will pass the turn to you. So you can make a Marit Lage in my turn. Yep. With the Dark Depths. Yeah, I think it's time uh, for this bubble to, okay. to be Would popped off. Okay, would you like to take a dice? One at a time. Oh, let's just hand pick them. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I'll see this. It's okay, <laughs> it's a foil, uh, it's a foil Tranquil Ticket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then... I'll show a life from the I'm not supposed to know what you know! It's okay. okay, I just play it as if um, it's Magic Online, because it's, right. it's bugged on Magic Online. <laughs> oh, so, is it? So you see the card you're This is why we play Paper Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I draw. Yes. I draw three cards. Uh, two in Upkeep, and then one in, uh, in Draw Step. Uh, I don't have any flyers, so it'll be hard now. I'll play an Island. You are at 22 life. So I'm not dead yet. Although... <laughs> That'll look great. Uh, I'll play an Urza's Bubble. Oh, third one. Yeah, fourth one, I think, but yeah. Uh, that's it, I finished my turn. I would like to do something at the end of your turn. Go, go ahead. Uh, you will gain one life. Oh, again? Yeah, 23. Why? Um, because I will tap Grove of the Bro Willows mm -hmm. and a Thespian Stage mm -hmm. to activate the ability of Thespian Stage. Okay. I'm gonna tap to copy Dark Depths. Why would you ask? It's legendary. That's mm. a crazy thing to do. Actually, I get the same card twice. Um, I'm gonna have to sacrifice one of them, though, because they're legendary. Could buy the one with the counters on them. Now, uh, Dark Depths, read that. Say, if it has no counters, they sacrifice it. And I make a 2020 Fine Indestructible token called Merit Lodge, which I will expressively do. Okay. Do you have any other plays? No. Okay, I will untap. Yes. So I cannot destroy it because it's indestructible. I am going to draw a card, though. Okay. I'm going to declare attacks. Yeah. Swing for 20. Take it. You're at three. Yes. I'm going to play Forest with a Forest Gump on it. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and another Dark Depths. Uh, Dark Depths. Okay, cool. Pass. I'll uh, take a look at one card at random. It will be a Tranquil Ticket. No, it's a Life Runs Alone. And then I take my turn. I'll draw two cards. Yes, you will. One at a time. Hmm, still no flyers. I'll play Lotus Petal. Okay. A masterpiece Lotus Petal. Since we we're like pointing out. <laughs> yeah, we're showing that. off our cards yeah. right now. <laughs> and I will... Uh, Would you like to tap both of these? No, I'll... Um, okay, okay, I'll pass. I won't even do anything. I'll untap and I'll attack All right, you. you can make another another Mario. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> well, it would still get to it. I know, I know, I know. Okay, sideboards. Now, um, the lands deck has a very low amount of cards it can bring out. So, although there's a lot of artifact removal in my sideboard, all I can do is I want the ancient grudge because. Ideally, I'm milling a lot with Life from the Loam, and I can play that for my graveyard, so I can kind of almost tutor it by just digging so much. And sometimes it's a two for one if I play it and then bring it back. So I'm bringing in one Agent Grudge, and although I have four Crows and Griff in my sideboard, he has Kappa Catanir. I can't pay three and four to get that, so I'm only bringing in three. What I am bringing out is a three Punishing Fire. Outside of Emery, there's not much I can hit with a Punishing Fire. And finally, I'm gonna bring out a Crop Rotation, because if he is, I'm sure 
main board, he's at least playing one or two, maybe four force of wills. But post board, he might go to force of negation and it really, really hurts to sacrifice a land with crop rotation just to see it get countered. So we're bringing one out. I sideboarded a lot of cards, up to nine cards, and I even consider going to 11. I didn't bring in the uh, Fairy Macabre because despite uh, game one, I got wrecked by the Loam Wasteland plan. I still figure that uh, I'd rather force of negation the life from the Loam. That's why I force of negation in four copies. I took out a couple of force of will. Despite, of course, you want to force of will the force uh, the, the exploration. I have six of them. I don't really want to have too many interaction. I am a very proactive deck, so I can't really touch too much on that. I'm taking out Chalice of the Void. So despite the Chalice of the Void on two, shuts off life from the Loam, shuts off punishing fire and the chalice of one of course also takes um, some cards out i figure that i can't have too many slots for interaction and i instead need to just can't hurt the main plan of the deck a lot so i have to take out interaction for interaction so i'm bringing in force of negation prison borrower but i have to take out some force of will and chalice of the void Andrea, yeah. are you ready for round two? Let's go, okay, let's go. I'm oh. so ready. Uh, hopefully you don't have to mulligan this time. Let's have a clean match. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Just a very explosive hand, come on. <laughs> okay, I got myself a great hand. It doesn't quite cast the Kappa Cannoneer on one, but it's gonna be it's gonna come down on turn two. Then I have an Eater Spell Bomb, which is, I mean, very good against their Marred Lege. And uh, yeah, the Kappa Cannoneer will attack for at least six or seven on turn two, on turn three, which is very much. Okay, this hand is indeed explosive, so I will keep it. Okay, I, I have to keep this hand. It's got a gamble to go get Life of the Loam. It's got the combo. It has a Baseju. Woohoo! This hand is awesome. I'm very excited to play this. I will keep it as well. Let's start our engines. Okay, boom, boom. Where is this bubble? Vox Opal. Otawara once again as a land. Vroom vroom indeed. Yeah, and then Ether Spell Bomb. Oh, wow. That's my start. I even have one, one, one mana here, but I'm gonna waste it. <laughs> I'm just showing off. Your turn. I'm going to draw for turn. Yep. Wow, Andrea, I got, I'm not gonna lie, this changes everything. <laughs> I'm gonna play Mox Diamond. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to discard a land. Go ahead. Oh no, goodbye, Dark Deft. Nice to see you. It's never coming back. It's never ever coming back. What? Before I commit anything else, mm. I am going to have to, it's, I would like to do the same thing as you and vomit my hand onto the board. Okay. But I'm gonna have to play this safe and see what I'm dealing with. I'm gonna have to cast Gamble. Wow. Are you a betting man, Andrea? No, not at all. <laughs> no, no, I don't think why. It makes me miserable. Um, but um, I'm gonna get a card from my deck. Yep. Um, okay, this is important now. I have to, I have, I've used the dice this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more important than there is this bubble. Okay, so you have five cards, six cards. Six cards. So one to six. Yes. You have the perfect dice for this. One. One. Boom. Exactly what I, exactly <gasps> oh, what you no. feared. This is not what I wanted okay. in my graveyard, but that's okay. okay. That's okay. It just slows me down a tiny bit. Okay. I know it feels bad to have to discard the mocks here. It hurts me as much as it hurts you to see it, but I had to play the gamble before playing out the rest of my hand because if he did have a force of negation, I would be discarding two lands here. I would have the mana acceleration, but my hand would be very slow afterwards and be hard for me to catch up. So at least now we can catch up from here. We still have good cards in our hand. Uh, what I am then going to do, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to play a Thespian stage. Okay. And pass the turn you. Nice, I can't wait to untap. <laughs> Drop. Ah, finally. I have another exciting draws here, so let's go. I'll go um, Ancient Tomb. All right. Then uh, I'm gonna go for three. Then I'm gonna improvise. <laughs> oh no. Four, five, six. Is that the huge Blastoise? It's Blastoise. It is the huge Blastoise. It's the Kappa Cannoneer. Would you like to give it a read? This is the first time I think most people have ever seen this card. It's the first time I cast it, so it's <gasps> gonna be exciting. This is a big moment. So for each artifact, I can tap them and reduce the cost of one. It has then Ward 4. Ward means is, uh, oh, if yeah. you plow it, you have to pay for extra. So if you would target it, actually, I don't know how you can target it, but uh, Punishing Fire maybe. Yeah. That would cost a lot of mana to kill this thing. And 
Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, it gets a plus one plus one counter and can't be blocked. Also pretty weird, written in a pretty weird way because when an enters, en artifact enters the battlefield, you put a counter. It entered the battlefield himself, so he puts a counter. Does it count itself? Yes. I didn't realize. I've yeah. never played against this well, card. I, yeah, maybe wizards Whoa. also didn't realize when they, when they, <laughs> they made a mistake it. of it. No, it's oh, just right. like commander cards. It's fine. Now, so uh, I will also go ahead and play a Mishra's Bubble. Mm -hmm. Put another counter. That's getting pretty big. Uh, you'll also take two off of your. Oh, sorry. Turn. Yeah, I did it right. Yeah, I was too excited. To <laughs> That's okay. You wanted to play Black. Yeah, so first high. time I cast it. So. And uh, I'm done. I'm going to um, look at your top card. Okay. And uh, that's it. I pass the turn. On top? Yeah, I I'll draw drops. draw my we card. Both draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy it. Oh. Does it feel good? Yeah, great draw. So, first of all. Yes. I am going to Ghost Quarter. Hmm. Your Ancient, Ancient Tomb. Tomb. Okay, I'll go get a Basic Island. Yes, you do. I hope you have. None. I have one. You, you have one? One for now. No, one that I know of. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. I would like to respond to your draw step. Upkeep, you mean? Upkeep. Okay. On top, upkeep. I would like to destroy your Ether Spell Bomb. Okay, wow. So you're busaging my Ether Spell Bomb. Conveniently, my Kappa Kanonier survives that because of the word four. Yeah, that's a lot of mana for me to tap. It would be six. I am not quite there yet. Now I have the decision of either drawing a card with the Spell Bomb or getting a basic island. Hmm. I think even my hand, I'm gonna draw a card. I'll tap this. Oh, maybe you have an Emery. Yep. Okay, so I'll draw a card in upkeep. And then I'll uh, go to main. Yes. Okay. Nice draw, nice draw. Okay, so I currently have uh, three artifact. I'm gonna play a Seat of Synod, which is gonna pump the Kappa Kappa yes. here. And it hasn't blockable until end of turn. It does, it does indeed. Then I'm gonna play a Thought Cast because I have four artifacts. Yep, so I'm draw cost only one. one. Yep, draw two cards. Okay. I will then play a Mox Opal. All right, you have to sacrifice the other one, but it does pump up your Kappa Cannoneer. Yeah. And yeah, it gives me an extra mana. And then... Uh, I'm going to play a Psy, Master oh, Thopterist. Oh, you get a lot of payoffs for casting artifacts now. Yeah, now whenever I play an artifact, I get to make a token. I will deal you eight. Boink, ow, that hurt. Um, I'm at 12. You got a 12. And then I'm also going to sacrifice the Urza's Bubble. Okay. Now, uh, one, two, six. I'll see this card. I, I knew it already, so it's fine. And then I will... Uh, Pass the turn. Draw a card. I'll draw as well. Yep. There'll be two of us. I'm potentially dead next turn. Um, depending on how many artifacts you can play, it's that's eight, nine. Yeah, remember that. So you that. need to play three artifacts. Not, 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 e not even, because when I play an artifact, I make a token. <gasps> so it is Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're feeling very safe now. <laughs> yeah. I don't say a lot of outs, so I'm just gonna hope your hand is has zero artifacts. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna play an exploration. Resolves. I'm gonna play a Dark Depths. Okay. I'm gonna play a Rashidun Port. Okay. I'd play to my outs here, but without a crop rotation, I don't see how I win. I'm sure the four cards in Andrea's hand are all artifacts, so let's just let him swing in. But I'll pass the turn to you. Untap and draw. All right. We'll see. So let's float blue mana first, and then I'll play another Mox Opal. All right. And by the way, I have three artifacts in a pretty weird way. One is Mox Opal, one is Seat of Synod, and one is Kappa Cannoneer. <laughs> so that's quite cool. Um, All right. How so many triggers do you get off of that? I'll get a Thopter from Psy, mm -hmm. and I'll get both Mox Opal and Thopter will pump the Kappa Cannoneer. All right. So this is now 10, 11. You're in 12, so you must only one artifact. You have one artifact and the three cards in your hand. I don't, but uh, the oh, ability really? from Psy. Oh, yeah. Okay. The ability from Psy says sacrifice to artifact, draw a card. So I'm going to tap Seat of Synod and Mox Opal. I will uh, sacrifice them. All right. And draw a card. I will play a Ancient Tomb here. 
and uh, I will uh, just simply attack you for 11. Unfortunately, I am missing the last uh, one point of damage. Can you here. sacrifice this artifact and draw a card so that you try to get a. I have to sacrifice oh. two artifacts though. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. I'm gonna go to one. Yeah. I had to miss. I had to miss an artifact for a while, but darn it! I should have tapped down your land. Yeah, it's okay. It's uh, okay. It didn't, it didn't make a difference. I'm gonna sacrifice. Um, and then I'm going to finish the turn with an Emery. I thought you were gonna play an artifact. I was gonna be like, what the flex? No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, mill four. Uh, it's a soul Galantra from the side. Yep. And that's it. I pass the turn to you. I think I'll concede. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's okay. go to game three. Okay. Okay. It's a really close one. Yes, it is. But before we get into game three, we need to thank one person. Andrea, who do we need to thank? Karma Crow. Because they lend us all the cards we play with, but not this time. Andrea brought his own cards. They're really, really nice. We borrowed cards for my land deck from customer support. Actually, almost all of them, except for seven. Usually, we borrow all our cards from Karma Crow. One of the oldest power sellers on card market. This time, only seven to update the land deck. But still, let's get into game three. Are you ready for game three? I am. I really hope it goes better than game two. Yeah. Um, I hope I hope I can go for a turn one, the Capacan in the air. I was very close is last game. Is that possible? Last game I was very that's close. that's disgusting. I was missing one mana last game. Oh no, yeah. Andrea. Yeah, two Mox Opal and the Ancient Tomb. I really hope you don't. I hope, um, I, hope I do. I hope I I'm going to go first, though. Ooh, Tabernacle, Ancient Grudge, Exploration, Thespian Sage. Am I dreaming? This hand is awesome. It's not got everything I need, but it's, it's just beautiful. I'm going to have to keep this hand. Once again, I hand with a Mox Opal, but with a meta craft, despite the uh, Ancient Tomb, I really just don't have much going. You just you have to mulligan with this deck. The deck can open very good hands, so let's go to six. Unfortunately, I have to mulligan the Mox Opal, the uh, Metal Craft 3 is... Uh... I'm thrilled to hear that. All right. Okay, I go seven minus one. All right. Let's go. Hopefully, your six is better than your seven. Hmm. The six card hand is much better. I have an Urza Saga with a Mox Opal, so I can make a construct as early as turn two. The Mox Opal is, of course, active. I can also cast a, a turn one uh, uh, Soga Lantern. It's gonna, of course, need some help off the top, really hoping my opponent doesn't go for Wasteland on my Saga. I'm gonna keep, because... Because going down to five would be miserable. It's, yeah. it's not necessarily a bad choice, but I'm gonna bottom this card, and you can go ahead. All right, I'm going to play Mox Diamond. Resolves. I'm going to discard this ticket. Okay. And then I'm going to tap it. Mm-hmm. To play an exploration. Nice. Does it resolve? Yep. Lovely. Very happy yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to play a Thespian Stage. Okay. And then I'll play a Tabernacle. Nice. I'll pass it to you. Draw. I think I'm going to try and uh, run an Urza Saga on turn one again. Ooh. Then I'll tap it to play a Soul Guide Lantern, which will exile your Tranquil Ticket. It's gone. So that you That's can't. too bad. I was hoping that wouldn't stay exile. Uh, yeah. And then I'll also play an Urza's Bubble and a Mox Opal. You have three artifacts, so you currently have Metalcraft. I do, but I am not doing anything. You can go. I will untap. Yep. I'll draw for turn. Yep. Okay. I'm going to tap Mox Diamond. Yep. And Thespian Stage, and I'm going to destroy your Mox Opal. Okay. I will uh, tap it to draw a card with the Lantern. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Okay. And then I'm going to play a Force of Negation on the Ancient Grudge. That resolves. Which will exile the Force of Negation, the Ancient Grudge. I got so lucky here to draw the blue card off of the Soul Guide Lantern. I drew for turn a Force of Negation, and then, you know, that's why I went for Mox Opal and there is this bubble to keep up the open the option of drawing a card off of Lantern. The Ancient Grudge, which was like back-breaking if it resolved, and Force of Negation exiled it. It was just a combination of things that, I mean, I could have just died there if I didn't draw blue cards, so let's keep going. Um, I'm gonna play Wooded Foothills. Okay. Any other land? No. No, okay, good. I go? Um, I'll just fetch it for a Taiga. Sure. On top and draw. I'll go to 19. I'll play a Seat of Synod, which happens to be an artifact. 
for my Mox Opal and I will pass the turn. Well played, Andrea. Thank you. I will drop a turn? Yep. I'll play Dark Depths. Okay, that's a good draw. It is a, it is a, it is a tremendously good draw. I am going to pass the turn to you. All right, end of turn. I will make a construct yes. from the saga. And then I'm also going to uh, sacrifice this Urza's bubble to see your card, which I'm very curious about. Glacial Shadow. Yeah, this that's is why, why I haven't been playing it. This is why you're never playing it. I was like, what's that card? All right, I untap, and the first is uh, your trigger, and then it's my trigger to draw yes. a card. So I will have to pay uh, the tax mm -hmm. from the tabernacle and uh, just. Oh, you don't want to let it die? No, no, no. It's a trusty construct. <laughs> and I draw a card off the bubble, and then I draw for turn. Uh, the Ursus Saga will go to three. Yes. And I will get you a get colorless mana. Okay. All right, and I get Pitting Needle, which is gonna name uh, Tespian Stage. Ah, <sighs> really? I've got one of those. Okay. All right. I have way more draws that get rid of a Pitting Needle than I have ones that catch me back from there. So I'm just gonna let it happen. Really hope I draw a Buseju, a Crozen Grip, a Blast Zone. I've got a lot of outs. I'll play a Seat of Synode. All right. And then I'll play an Emery. Ooh, that's a good one. Healing Force of Will, by the way, if you're wondering if I had it. Oh, yeah, because that was a Force of Negation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was figuring you had the, sorry, I was figuring you had the Force of Will main board. Yeah. And then I attack you for five. 14. So down to 14. I decide to go for Emery here. Might be a little bit greedy, but I feel like if I fade one draw step and I get to untap with Emery, I'm gonna just draw two cards per turn with Emery, make bigger attacks with a construct to even shorter the clock. So this was one of those cases where you could risk it, but I figured I'm not really risking too much. So let's go. Go. Andrea, I would like to remove a counter from my Glacial Chasm, uh, from my Dun uh, Dunkeltiefen uh, in German, but uh, Dark Depths. Okay, go ahead. I will draw. I think I'm, I'm good on the Dark Depths. Plan. <laughs> Nine turns to go plan. I'll pass to you. All right, I'll keep. I'll pay the tabernacle. Yep. And I'll uh, draw. I will uh, certainly tap the emery. All right. And uh, I'll flash back in Urza's bubble. I will also play another saga. Ooh, that's bad for me. And then I'll play a lotus petal. Wow. Then I attack you for. Seven. So much. Seven? Seven. Yep, I'm down to seven. You're down to seven. Now, I will also uh, crack the bubble. Yes. Pick one. I will, it's the same one, unfortunately. And um, I'm good to go. You can go. <laughs> Andrea, are you ready for it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna reduce this down to eight. Okay. <laughs> wait till it gets, yeah. wait till it makes it 2020. Yeah, draw a card. Yeah, we both draw. I'm going to, I need to reduce your artifact count somehow. I'm gonna play Ghost Quarter. Right. I'm going to destroy your Urza Saga. Okay, I'll float mana. So you have one mana floating? Yeah. I'm gonna go to attacks. All right. <laughs> it's gone. Um, in my second main phase, Yep. I'm gonna play a Wasteland. Okay. And get rid of your Seed of the Synod. Okay. I play two lands this turn, it's your turn. <laughs> Untap, pay the Tabernacle tax, of course, and draw. Go ahead. Do you have an artifact? I have an artifact from hand, and an artifact from the graveyard. <gasps> So, Would you like to swing in for lethal? Seven. Good games, Andrea. Thank Amiguchi. you, thank you, thank exactly. you. Exactly. Kappa Cannoneer, Urza Saga, Andrea Miguchi. I came with the older versions of the lands deck with Gamble and everything. I was not expecting the new cards to be so crazy. I've got to call Karma Crow and update my deck. Yeah, the future is now, old man. <laughs> you are making me feel old with my Gamble and my vintage cards. Listen. Um, this is the last video we'll have with Andrea Mangucci here. It was a pleasant time having you as uh, guest of the month. Where can we find you if people want more after this? 
yeah, you can check my content on YouTube uh, under Andrea Mengucci video, on Twitch, under twitch.tv slash Andrea Mengucci, or on the channel Fireball content, whether it's on their website or on YouTube. But in the meantime, for the next video, still, comment your deck list. We will play them, not Legacy this time, maybe Legacy, we'll see, but we'll still see you next week.